Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. And today I am doing a review, overview of these Bluetooth headphones. Uh, looking forward to uh, sharing them with you. Very affordable headphones, under $25. And I would have to say for the money, I was really impressed, but I look forward to diving in with you, sharing the positives, the negatives, uh, just the whole experience. By the way, you can click on the link in the description where you could read reviews and order them. Uh, first of all, very lightweight headphones, uh, which is important. Some Bluetooth headphones, they can uh, wear you down, but uh, these are very, very nice. Uh, let me uh, first, uh, and I've got a whole list of uh, notes that I took when uh, reviewing these headphones so I could share with you the experience. Uh, very nice packaging. It comes in, highlights the back of the uh, features and battery life, and I'll talk more about that. You got the user manual, you've got the earpieces, and you also have uh, this USB micro cable. These are by Sabin. The, uh, within the package as well, it does have three different size earpieces, small, medium, large, and they have what they call uh, air wings. And these uh, keep the uh, headphones in place in your ears. So that is uh, very cool. Uh, and it was very, very comfortable to wear, which I was uh, pleased about that. Nothing's worse than wearing Bluetooth headphones and they're not comfortable. So uh, good job there. As far as the uh, initial charge for the battery, it did take about 30 minutes when I took it out of the, the packaging to charge up. When it charges, it's a red light. When it's done charging, it's a blue light. And for a full charge from when the battery is fully drained to completion, it takes under three hours thereabouts. Battery life is eight hours of talk time and 380 hours of standby time. Lots of battery life on these headphones. Uh, really for, for the money, I just impressed with uh, what they've been able uh, to do there on the battery life and comfort. Uh, they've, again, they've delivered an, a nice uh, headphone here. So uh, lightweight and very comfortable. These do have a magnetic earpiece. Let me uh, put these on and I will zoom in by the way so I could show you the buttons close up and highlight and show you how I connect it to my phone. Uh, but you have these magnetic uh, pieces that snap together and then just hang. Now, when I did put them on this morning at the gym and they were hanging, and maybe because I didn't have them on long, I felt like it was pulling on my uh, neck a little bit, but then once you started wearing them, uh, and even during the day as I put them to the test today, they uh, um, you know, uh, felt uh, very, very comfortable uh, around my neck. Uh, I did want to mention, by the way, on the battery life, I did really got to put them to the test today, and I would say eight hours is, uh, is a very fair number based upon my experience that I had today, because I would say it was close to eight hours and I had music going. So in between phone calls, I'm in sales, so I'll listen to music and I have it running all the time. I have an adapter with my, my laptop and uh, that works well. So as far as the next up, Bluetooth connectivity, uh, it says it's supposed to go up to 33 feet. I found uh, somewhere in the 20 to 25 feet range, uh, direct line of sight worked better. If I went a little further down and behind a wall, that's where the Bluetooth connectivity broke up. Didn't notice any issues as far as the phone in my bag and breaking up, but I did notice uh, when it's a little further away. Uh, so uh, do keep that in mind. Uh, so I think, you know, 20, 25 feet, that's, you know, a pretty fair, reasonable uh, distance. Uh, if, you, if you are looking for that super distance, then these probably won't uh, meet your expectations. Uh, as far as the power and indicators, it does give you an indicator with power on. It says power on, power off means power off. It also gives you a notification with low power. It says pa battery low, battery low, battery low, battery low. I think three or four times and then it uh, eventually just shuts off. So it's nice to have that indicator. Uh, as far as uh, for the uh, sound and, and speaking for phone calls, and I will go into phone calls, it does tell you the phone number. So if you get that call coming in, you'll be able to hear the phone number. It does not give you the name. I did that test. So it will not give you the name of the person, but it will give you the phone number. 
So as far as the volume, they are not the loudest headphones, but they did get plenty loud and people love to just get the loudest headphones, which is, honestly, it's not good for your hearing because later in life you're gonna have some issues. But I think it does get loud enough. There were some songs where I felt it was a richer sound. Other times I felt it was you know, more treble than bass. But I was overall, as a whole experience, I did find that I really liked the sound experience. I thought they delivered a decent sound for the money. Uh, so that was there uh, as far as the sound. As far as call quality, excellent call quality. I really was impressed with the call. Let me first uh, play this uh, call. I, I dialed into my voicemail so you can hear that sound quality. I also had uh, music playing in the background so you can hear how that picks up with a microphone and then I'll uh, just share with you my thoughts on that. So go ahead and listen to this now. I am leaving a voicemail test of the wireless headphones sold by Sabin, giving you an idea of the background noise picking up the music on my computer. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So again, I am doing a test. This is with the music on, sitting right by my computer. Now I'm going to step back, away from my computer. I'm about five feet away from my computer. And hopefully this part of the review is of help. Thanks for listening. Okay, so as you can hear, I, I thought I sounded real clear. Now, when I've you know, put together this video, it might have adjusted the sound where it's got this weird noise uh, with, with my voice. And for some reason, uh, I'm not sure why it does that, but I, I really believe that the call quality is excellent. The microphone does pick up the noise. It's not gonna block out that, that background sound as you heard in the video, but I was still able to hear myself. So keep that in mind. And most likely when you're on a phone call, you're gonna probably be in a quiet environment. Most of the time, if you're out and about, this chances are people will hear that noise in the background. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, as far as uh, being and um, working out, next I wanted to talk about uh, being at the gym. I found that I had to really keep the volume at the, almost at the maximum level, if not the maximum level, to block out the background sound. Uh, it was picking it up. Uh, I was able to hear some noise in the background, even at full volume. So they didn't fully block out that you know, background sound, but I thought it did a, a decent job. Uh, I, I think for the money, I'm not sure what kind of miracles you can expect, but I think it really did deliver overall a very good value. Um, and I, I really enjoyed uh, my experience working out. They were very comfortable. I didn't feel like these were bouncing around in any way. Uh, lightweight, and uh, for the most part, uh, it did uh, sound very good. And uh, I share with you the call quality. The last thing that I just wanted to mention as far as, which is really important, and I've, I've seen this before where the voice doesn't match the lips. The good part about these headphones is that they do match the lips, so which is good. So you'll be able to use these with a YouTube video uh, and other videos, and that won't be an issue. So, so I'm gonna put the uh, earpiece by my uh, microphone. So I think that's at maximum volume. And I'll dive into a close up of these headphones. So I'll show you, I'll connect these to my phone and then, and then we'll go ahead and highlight all the buttons uh, and, and then just uh, finalize things up, which I'll leave you this before we go into that part. Uh, I think these are really a great value and uh, again, click on the link where you can get more information uh, and read the reviews on these and of course order it. So let's go ahead and zoom on in. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you've got your mic right there, very small little spot. Then you've got next up here, you've got your three buttons, you've got your volume and your seek back or track back. You've got your play pause phone call or answer, your power button, also connect to your Bluetooth device. And here is the volume up and track forward, backwards. So everything is right there. And the way you would control the volume, for example, if you wanted to raise the volume or seek forward, 
and listening to a song is you would, for volume, you would press the button like that. If you want to seek forward, you would press and hold it, and then it would seek to the next track. Very, very simple to do. Uh, also, you have your connection here for USB for charging your device so right there. All right, so let's go ahead and now connect to my iPhone. So I got my iPhone here. Now let me go ahead and turn it off and then turn it back on. So you wanna make sure it is looking for a device. Now to go into Bluetooth mode, you press the middle button, you press and hold the button, and now you'll see it will start flashing blue and red, blue and red. So there you go. Now it is going out to look for the headphones, which is the X18, and then it found it right there. You press that on your device and it should connect. So there you go. Now it's nice and connected. So overall, I think the Bluetooth headphones are a great value. You'll really enjoy them. They're lightweight, they feel good, they're very comfortable in the ear. Uh, do click on the link to get more information. Be sure to read the other reviews and of course order them. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I hope this was informative. Take care, see you on the next video.